go. And, and you, Lorenzo, what, uh, what have you got looking right now for colleges and whatnot? Um, I attended several camps um, throughout this summer. Um, I've been to Ole Miss, Alabama, uh, Memphis, uh, South Carolina, FSU. Um, but right now, I'm just, you know, I'm still enjoying the recruiting process. You know, trying to, you know, see which places I like. And, and um, trying to find the best place for me to go and be happy. And not, you know, think about, you know, changing my mind and making any decommitment. So, you know, wherever I go, I want it to be the place where I want to stay. You guys mentioned Penn State, and I was just uh, wanted to ask you guys, as athletes that are being highly recruited by different colleges, you, right now you're hearing, you know, coaches always telling you this and that, why to go to their school, what's great about it, and you're hearing everything sounds great. As athletes, what do you get? What's the process, I guess, mentally for you guys to to tell who's actually being honest with you, who's giving you the actual right opportunity for you, and what's the best fit for it? Like, what do you guys think of? I think, I think it's like your own, your your own personal like image towards yourself. Um, you go to a school that you have the best opportunity at, that the school that you could play first at, because at the end of the day, every every coach he's gonna eventually lie to you, like he. I, I, that's how I take it. Like I, I'm, I'm just like, I think I could do better at the school that gives me opportunity first. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of you know it's kind of you know two sided because um you know a player a player in college who works hard all off season you know getting up at five thirty in the morning to go work out running all the sweating and competing for jobs I would assume that you know after all that hard work they would wanna they would wanna play in the postseason or play in the bowl game. So that's why, you know, I don't I, I really don't blame kids for decommitting and, you know, deciding to go to another school because of that situation. And I think they have the right to, you know, do what they want to do as far as staying to the school and, and decommitting from the school. So, you know, I really can't say that they're wrong for that because that's really a tough situation, you know. Especially when you're not at the school yet, you still got time, you know, to change your mind. So, you know, that's not really a, a bad option. What What's your frame of mind right now? Like, are you guys, as far as, like, when you might decide where you want to go, like how are you handling it, that part of it? Um, I'm taking it one day at a time, being, being very patient because this is something for my future and my life and it's going to benefit me in the future, so I'm just being extra patient. It's easy to kind of get caught up though in like yeah. all that hype with all these websites out yeah. there. And, I, like, yeah. I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to rush, I don't want to rush into it because you know, when right. you rush into it, that's how, that's how you make a mistake and you know, you decide, oh, I really don't want to go to this school and then you look, you look bad because you got to tell the coach, oh, I, I want to think about, you know, decommitting and you know, I want to mm -hmm. explore the options because you, you decided too quick. So that's, that's the, that's the mistake I don't want to make. Right. You see guys around you, like friends that you maybe grew up with that are in similar situations, and then you've probably seen that they get caught up in like, I want to commit so I can get some headlines and I can yeah. be the star and all that. <laughs> but it's like, then then like a month later, oh, I don't like this school yeah. anymore, you know, that type of thing. So, I mean, you get kind of like have that, you guys seem to have that mentality, like you really want to make the right choice yeah, for yeah. you, not just, you know, for football, for school, everything. Right. Do you talk to some, have anybody that you talk to, maybe like to tell them, you know, hey, think about this because this is like, this is going to affect the rest of your life. Um, eventually, guys talked to me. Like, Amari Cooper, when he co committed to Alabama, he told me, when you commit, like, make it solid. Do not mm -hmm. be able to decommit yeah. and stuff like that. He told me to be loyal to one school because they'll be loyal back to you. Mm -hmm. So I took heed in that. Yeah. You know, he also told me, you know, um, go go somewhere where you got the best opportunity at. You know, don't 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 make a mistake and go to a school where, you know, you, you're, you're not going to feel happy at because you're not going to, you know, do your best there. So that's the best advice I got. But my dad, he's been helping me with my whole recruiting process. Mm -hmm. So that's who's been, you know, you know get, I've been getting advice from and everything. So that's who that's who's been with me. What are you guys looking at as far as maybe a, a career that, you know, outside of football, if anything like that you're going to pursue? Have you guys decided on anything yet? Or? I'll be a business slash drama type guy. Okay. I can do, I can do that. I already made my mind up. Um, I want to. I want to study communications in college. So you know, just in case football don't work out, because you know, football doesn't promise anything to happen. God forbid. But you know, you know, have to. You know, how the guys play football. You know, how they go work for. You know, broadcasting news. You know, yes. like sports like that. That's what I want to do because you know, I think that's that's a strength in me. I can. I believe I can handle that. So one way or the other, I might see you on ESPN one day. If not, if not playing, maybe I'll in, in the booth, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And you said drama because you're into like yeah. like a theater that type of thing. No, or, but or I feel you... like I feel like I can be a great actor. Okay. I watch a lot of movies. So 
I take guys' roles. Okay. <laughs> so the same thing. If I don't see you on ESPN, I'll see you like on the, in a movie in a movie yeah, theater. Cinemax. Yeah. Cinemax. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, anything else, guys? Just I guess you know, looking at this at this year coming up, if you guys, what do you think? Uh, you know, always kind of throw that question out there. If, you know, where where do you see this team come December? Obviously, you want to be in Orlando holding the trophy, but I mean. Uh, any other personal goals? Anything that would make this a perfect season for everybody? My motto for every season is to do better than you did before. And for for me, doing better than what I did before is winning the state championship. That's what I want to do. I just say be humble with everything we do. Um, never get too cocky, and always be confident. And that's that's my motto. Be confident. Thanks, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Thank you.